Welcome folks to Veeamon 2020, virtually of course. What a time. Important events like Veeamon are going virtual due to shelter in place. Working from home, schooling from home, what would we do without technology? Thank God for technology. These are certainly uncertain times. And yes, I said certainly uncertain, it's, it's that kind of a word. But we are resilient and we will overcome these hardships. Today, we are here to talk about locking out ransomware uh, with data immutability. Before we begin, let's talk a little bit about data. It is still everywhere. Even in these times, we are generating data everywhere and everything we do. Now more so than ever, universities, pharmaceutical companies, every other medical uh, enterprise, are all deep in research. They're generating troves of data, doing things like virology, uh, analysis of diseases. And uh, this is all on top of the research agenda, sequencing the genes of many, many viruses and other organisms. Enterprises themselves are generating troves of data as they run their businesses digitally uh, and, keep their, uh, uh, and keep business continuity on. Images and media, everybody is on Zooms, WebEx, Teams, and every other device that helps collaboration. Collaboration is generating more video than ever. Security and surveillance needs haven't stopped. Troves of data has been generated through webcams, body cams, and so on and so forth. Backups and archives, of course, need to protect data still exists and Organizations are backing up and archiving their precious resources at, uh, at record pace anyways. Data has become even more business critical and organizations that deal and utilize this important asset will be better positioned for business success. The challenge for most organizations is managing and storing this critical data asset. Data is increasing exponentially. We talked a little bit about the various different uh, sources of data that are increasing even more in these uncertain times. And we've seen this, a slide like this, uh, a chart that shows exponential growth of data um, in, in many, many cases, right? In 2020 itself, the world was projected to generate over 9,000 exabytes of data. Now that's only going to increase with everything going virtual. Cloud is a very important technology development that help us manage this data deluge. And by cloud, I mean a mix of public and private cloud. Most of the people just think about cloud as doing, being AWS or Azure, but those are the public places, right? An important, important aspect of this technology is private cloud and hybrid cloud. And that's what most of the customers have started realizing and utilizing in today's world. <clears throat> the reasons for going with private or hybrid cloud is from avoiding lock-ins, so to scalability, to security, to privacy and regulation, and of course, cost. And as we said, security, your data needs protection. What does it need protection for? various factors and here we will first start with the internal threats to your data. The type of threats that we're talking about range from accidental deletion where uh, an employee working on an important uh, data asset would accidentally delete their uh, project data or employees and executives routinely uh, deleting uh, emails which are important for business continuity and so on and so forth. Very important that you have your data secured and protected to recover from these incidents. Malicious insiders, uh, different groups uh, working with each other where some, some individuals are, uh, are maliciously deleting data that is business critical and uh, there should definitely be ways to, to recover from these kind of incidents. Employee retaliation. Um, We've seen this in the workforce. It does get political and sometimes and employees retaliating against each other is not unheard of. 
And then finally, tampering with evidence. So data within an organization can and uh, uh, and is always uh, regulated uh, by certain norms and should be able to uh, be used in in cases of uh, uh, of evidence uh, management and so on and so forth. So your data assets and your data management should be able to protect your data against all of these different type of internal threats. These are your regular data loss prevention needs and every organization is well aware of these and is critical to ensure business continuity in this digital age. But beyond internal threats, your data also needs protection against external threats. What are these ex external threats? Start off with any kind of malware. Getting into your systems, corrupting your data, um, denying access to data, all of these things can be part of malware. Hackers getting into your system and doing denial of service uh, attacks. Rogue apps that, uh, that portray to be something and uh, get in and steal your data. And then finally, ransomware. Ransomware, which is the topic of today's discussion, uh, is, is the fastest growing malware threat that targets users of all types. It works by encrypting the user's data and renders the source data and backup data useless where it lies. The ask at this point is uh, for, uh, for payment in, uh, in Bitcoin-like uh, cryptocurrencies, which is completely untraceable. And this is extremely, extremely challenging to um, overcome. And we are, we are definitely going to talk about this specific topic uh, in the next uh, part of the presentation. Uncertain times are fertile ground for malicious actors. Ransomware strikes every 14 seconds, according to FBI today. These attacks have actually picked up steam in today's uncertain climate. Russia, Russians attacked and took down North Carolina city and county government systems. This is news articles from within the last month, month and a half. Multiple reports of coronavirus being used as clickbait to infiltrate enterprises and execute ransomware attacks. Heartbreaking heartbreaking reports of hospitals and labs that are on the forefront of coronavirus fight being targeted. They don't even have the time or the bandwidth to be out of commission at this critical juncture and end up paying millions of dollars in ransom. Even the WHO testing labs will be attacked. Hackers are ruthless. If you look at what CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency of the DHS has uh, done, they've issued an alert across the board against these ransomware attack. This is the current and immediate threat to world economy. In fact, in, even before uh, the current pandemic, uh, in uh, December of 2019 in Davos World Economic Forum, it was listed as the top five risk to world economy. Uh, more than 4,000 attacks per day, according to the US FBI report. And this is, this is uh, going back a few years. That's definitely gone up uh, on a per day basis. 97% increase in the last two years alone. 51% of the companies pay these ransoms. $8 billion of cost to business in 2018 alone. And average cost per attack is in excess of 133,000 US dollars. It is at 133,000 because these ransomware attack reports range from the, the smallest of mom and pop shops all the way to the largest of enterprises. You look at just the enterprise and government entities, these uh, average uh, costs, those average costs vary uh, in the range uh, of millions to tens of millions of dollars. Not to talk about the cost to the business in terms of uh, reputational damage and uh, and the loss of business due to being out of uh, out of uh, commission at this point we're just talking about the cost paid in terms of ransomware so what's your defense against ransomware well the solution typically has been pretty simple so 
the best defense is backup, backup, and backup. If you have a clean copy, typically you and your customers are able to recover from a ransomware attack without needing to pay the ransom. You still have to go and plug the hole where the hackers got in, but at least you typically have a clean copy. And this particular methodology has been used uh, forever. So why is it failing today in, in terms of what's, what's different, right? Well, the hackers have, have gotten sophisticated. They understand now that backup is your main defense against ransomware attacks. 75% of the organization attack last year had up-to-date endpoint protections in place. But the rogue players that are now sophisticated are getting around these uh, sophisticated uh, uh, defense mechanisms. And the first thing they do is go after your backup systems. Typically, it starts with a phishing attack, and, and we know your defenses are as strong as the weakest link in the chain. And this allows uh, a phishing attack where an employee clicks on a rogue link allows these bad actors to circumvent the security in place. And once they go after your data systems, which includes your primary data and your backup data, you uh, are... Uh, can be your, your organization and your business can be brought to its knees very, very quickly. So then what is the real solution to this? Well, to that, look, for, look at the, um, the, the paper that uh, Forrester published uh, in the last uh, six to eight months. And this talks about the technologies that combine to protect you against these kind of ransomware attacks. And one of the specific areas that is key according to um, the Forrester, is implementation of an immutable file system with an underlying worm storage. So what does that mean uh, in terms of immutability, data immutability? Well, data immutability is that aspect of technology that makes your data unchangeable once it is written. When, when I say unchangeable, it's tamper-proof, so that you, you're able to write the data to storage and be able to read it multiple times, but once it's written, it is completely tamper-proof. And that's where the worm storage part also comes in. Worm is an acronym that stands for write once, read many, and it's a technology, uh, it's a te technical aspect of uh, storage, where uh, if you implement it in the right way, you can get to um, an immutable data storage. And we will talk about some of these things in the next few slides. Before we move on, I just wanted to quickly introduce to you Claudian and uh, the solution that we have with Veeam uh, around, uh, around ransomware protection. So meet Hyperstore. Uh, Hyperstore is Claudian's flagship product. What this is, is an on-premises S3 compatible object storage system that's built natively on the S3 APIs. For most of you out there, when you think about S3, uh, you think about Amazon's S3 data storage product, which is in the public cloud. Well, S3 is also an API, and uh, this is something that uh, Amazon provides freely and openly uh, as an open source uh, API system. And Cloudian is built purely natively on S3 API. So you can think about Cloudian as being as close to Amazon S3 uh, storage product, but not in the public cloud, on-premises. This is going to be behind your data center, within your own, uh, uh, behind, your, behind the firewall within your own data centers. Core capabilities of Hyperstore are to store unstructured data. Exabyte scalability is one of the biggest biggest benefit and uh, the crowning glory of, uh, of uh, Hyperstore. With Hyperstore, customers can start as small as th a three node cluster in the 100 terabyte range and scale up to hundreds of petabytes. In fact, we have our uh, largest m and &E customers running uh, Cloudian in the 200 petabyte range. Cloudian supports the major public clouds and is an ideal platform for hybrid cloud solutions. Deployment options vary and range from software only to applied
clients to a consumption model. How is that possible? Well, Cloudian actually, Hyperstore actually started off as a software-defined storage. Uh, we then added our own appliance story to the whole thing. So you can actually buy not just the software, but you can buy an appliance that comes pre-populated uh, with the software. And then we also have uh, the capability on running on any of the other industry standard x86 hardware out there. And finally, we do have a purely consumption model where it can be consumed in a metered basis. The main use cases for Cloudian uh, range from, well, we start with data protection, that's our bread and butter, uh, whether it's backup, archives, DR, and now ransomware protection and compliance as well. Media and entertainment is another huge uh, vertical and use case for Cloudian. And security and surveillance systems is uh, one more thing. And finally, big data and Internet of Things is another area where there's good applicability for this software. Where does Cloudian fit? Uh, well, you have 20% of the data that's typically uh, classified as performance data or fast data. This is the data that is in, is in the primary storage uh, and it typically needs to be um, very, very quickly accessible. And uh, here's where you'll have uh, your, the likes of your pure storage, all flash systems, even NetApps and Nutanix is offering you those kind of storage. Cloudian does not fit into that. Cloudian is, Cloudian is definitely on the capacity tier, which uh, gives you always on accessibility to your data in seconds, not in milliseconds. It is definitely on the, on the capacity tier of the data, uh, data solution story okay and then build on s3 what what that means is it becomes a key part of your on-prem data storage system it is a key part of the it strategy because if you look at it um, you you can use Cloudian or Hyperstore uh, with your backup systems, but you can also use it with your dev test systems uh, using your S3 APIs. Gives you the ability to not just uh, look at data in silos, but you can actually create a data lake along with that, whether it's your media workflows or even the analytics and ETL workloads with Splunk and uh, other things like Elastic, Spark, and, and what have you. The bottom line is, it gives you the capability of building your own private cloud and also tiering onto public cloud, building your uh, own hybrid multi-cloud deployment scenarios and meeting all of the business needs. And all of these things can be, uh, can be uh, utilized in microservices environment with cloud storage inside your data center. Coming to the current uh, solution, um, end-to-end -end data immutability with uh, with Cloudian and Veeam. Well, in 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 uh, version 10, Veeam released uh, S3 object lock, which Cloudian actually released in uh, 7.2 in uh, December timeframe. So um, together, this is the first end-to-end on-prem object lock based functionality that provides you full coverage against ransomware. Hyperstore is the first uh, object storage system to also achieve uh, object immutability verified uh, uh, verified stamp of approval on the Veeam Ready program. Now this is a new um, badge on the Veeam Ready program, and uh, currently only uh, Cloudian Hyperstore has that. Uh, and you can go check it out uh, in the Veeam Ready portal itself. Veeam immutable backups for Cloudian V10 started uh, with in February with, with a V10 release, of course. What this means is it gives you the capability of connecting Cloudian as a scale-out backup repository uh, over the S3 connect, uh, connectivity uh, in the cloud tier. And uh, once you can uh, set up uh, the, the whole system in the copy mode, which is also new to V10, you get end-to-end -end immutability uh, between Veeam and Cloudian. How does that happen? Well, Cloudian introduced native support for S3 object lock uh, in release 7.2. What that uh, really means is 
object lock has become the de facto standard for uh, S3 based uh, object storage systems to implement work, which is write once and read many for S3 objects. What this does is once you put your data in an object lock bucket, that data becomes completely tamper proof, immutable, unchangeable. With S3 based object lock, you also get retention management control of this data, which means that you can actually specify the amount of time which this data gets locked up. You could specify as little as one day to a couple of weeks to a few months. It all depends on how you want to, uh, to protect your data against threat of ransomware. With Hyperstore, you get full support of the S3 object lock. Um, and we actually provide two different modes of protection. So first is the governance mode. This is the lesser restrictive mode of data protection. Objects here are locked for a certain period of time and protected against rogue, rogue actors. However, this particular mode does provide for privileged users with certain levels of admin privilege to be able to delete the protected objects. This mode is to be used more on the DevOps side, uh, maybe for internal um, group management between different departments, not to be used for things like ransomware or compliance, because there is always the threat of insiders being actually uh, rogue players themselves. And the second mode is the compliance mode. I'm sorry. In the compliance mode, this is this is the mode that is also supported with Veeam. So the Veeam Cloudian sol solution that we just uh, introduced, that's on the compliance mode side. This is the most stringent mode, and this is the mode to be used for ransomware protection. There's also the mode to be used for things like regulatory compliance, because you want completely tamper-proof data, and uh, you do not want uh, any privileged users to be able to delete it either. In this mode, root access is also delete, uh, disabled, and um, and uh, privileged users uh, on the application side, like even the Veeam backup, does not have capability to delete the data once it is written into this particular object. The backup data protection workflow of Veeam and Cloudian automatically creates uh, these locked objects, and we'll, we'll get into that in the next slide. So is it enough to have an S3 object lock uh, feature in your object storage system um, to claim complete immutability uh, against uh, ransomware? Definitely not. What if your hackers, which as we discussed are getting more and more sophisticated, can compromise your system at the operating system level? They can actually get to your storage system and completely delete the storage system. At that point, features like object lock are completely moot. <clears throat> That's where uh, you actually have some strict regulatory requirements on what qualifies as worm enabled storage. This particular thing has different regulations in different parts of the world. And uh, from Claudian's perspective, we've actually been working uh, with various regulatory bodies uh, within the US government organization, as well as the NAMIA to get certified around that. Cloudian today is the only uh, only object storage system that's certified with uh, SEC rule 17A4, uh, which specifies that even in the root, uh, even, in a, even if a person with root access uh, gets into the system, they should not be able to delete the data. And when Cloudian is shipped in, in with worm mode enabled, it, it does uh, ship as a hardened storage appliance uh, where you have secure shell enabled, integrated firewall, uh, access controls inbuilt, and the root access is actually disabled. This enables you to lock, lock down the system and make it completely airtight. So let's quickly talk about the workflow, right? Uh, creating a ransomware protected workflow between Veeam and Cloudian is simple. It is extremely straightforward uh, because both talk 
the same APIs and the same standards. Cloudin connects uh, as, an, as a, a server to Veeam backup and replication via the cloud tier. Veeam initiates the backup, and during the backup initiation, the backup admin can specify right through the backup workflow that it's an object lock backup. This particular uh, thing is just a checkbox within Veeam, and it's as simple as clicking that. There's also a dialog box right next to it to specify the time frame of which the data will be will remain locked. Now, this this data is automatically uh, used to create buckets on the hyperstore side, and all of the policies and um, and the parameters that we just specified are translated onto the object lock on on the cloud inside. Once you start the backup workflow after this the data that lands into this bucket is completely tamper-proof immutable. And even if you get a ransomware attack, the, the hackers will not be able to delete or change the data in any way. You can simply retrieve a clean copy from anywhere without a problem. We also have the same technology that's, uh, that's uh, doable with uh, in a multi-site uh, fashion where you can have one copy of your data always stored in a different location to satisfy the 3 to one rule uh, that we have of, with, uh, with uh, Veeam backups. So finally, what Cloudian offers you uh, with uh, data protection, along with data protection, is exabyte scalability. Grow as you need to limit this capacity uh, to grow, simply add the nodes and protect more data as you go at, a, at an object level granularity. That's the lowest level granularity. You do not have to have all of your data locked in, but you can definitely have parts of your data which are sensitive to be locked up and, uh, and protected. And the performance grows as you grow. The more nodes you add, the better the storage performance. You also get data search capabilities. Uh, with object storage comes uh, the capability of defining uh, custom metadata with the objects that, that are stored in, into the object storage system. And you can find and visualize assets as you go. We have integration uh, on the hyperstore side with Elasticsearch as well as Kibana, give you uh, ways to do visual analytics as well as search. Integrated data protection in the sense of uh, the storage system itself, uh, Cloudian offers replicated uh, um, data protection schemes as well as erasure coding uh, to, to be able to protect your data against uh, corruption and uh, disk failures. And we also uh, are a completely distributed system, so your data is always uh, protected uh, with, uh, in, in a multi-site fashion as well. Okay, and finally, uh, quickly getting into why customers, uh, I'm going to leave you with this slide, why customers choose Cloudian. Um, highest S3 API compatibility, start small and grow as you go. Object lock, which is one of the key features in today's uh, economy to protect your data and your data assets against the threat of ransomware is one of the key features of uh, Cloudian that uh, is unique. Definitely, when you pair it with Veeam, it's one of the most unique features that, that is there today. Hybrid cloud, multi-cloud ready, as well as the cost. We come in at less than half a cent per gigabyte per month and are one of the most cost-effective object storage system that is there in the marketplace today. With that, uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, the slide that uh, talks about uh, the key features and benefits of uh, Cloudian. Thank you very much and appreciate uh, you for taking the time to come to this presentation. Thank you.